Inside a converted farmhouse built before the Civil War. You are so gorgeous. Hold her little hands, hold her hands. Okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> it's okay, Anna. It's okay, sweetie. It's checkup time for a seven-week-old girl named Anna. She's 23 inches long. 23. A child under the care of a pediatrician named Leela Denmark. Now this little baby should gain one ounce a day. If it doesn't gain an ounce a day, then there's something wrong. She runs a one-woman clinic four days a week, a practice she started in Atlanta when no, Calvin I mean, Coolidge was president. All right, who's the next angel? To say that she's practicing past what might be considered a normal retirement age would be an understatement. Now, I've never seen this baby but uh, twice, isn't that right? Yes, ma'am. On February 1st, Dr. Denmark will celebrate her 100th birthday. Isn't that nice? And she does all her own doctoring. It isn't, okay, you stay here and we'll get the nurse to come in. <laughs> she does all her own doctoring. All right, let's dress him back now. Okay. Medicine has changed a lot in the 70 years since Leela Denmark started practicing, and she was part of that change, working for 11 years with a team of researchers during the 1930s and 40s to help develop the whooping cough vaccine. All right, why did you bring this little baby? But she has not embraced all the modernizations of medicine. Put his hand in his mouth in there. For some babies, she still encourages thumb sucking. I teach him to suck his thumb. You'll never have buck teeth unless you have a short upper lip. Now keep him in this position, that all be right. And encourages babies to sleep on their stomachs and prescribes less medicine and more sensible living for children and their parents. I'd be sure you eat right and drink a lot of good hot soup. Would you call her old school? Yes, All definitely. Right. I'm real pleased with her. She's, she's been very helpful, and she's here when you need her, you know, she, and she always answers the phone. Let me show you. Dr. Denmark, yes, come along, I'll see you. She's her own receptionist. She takes no appointments. Hers is a first-come, first-served practice. All right, who's the next angel? Yeah, she'll tell you, like, to go soak in a bathtub and to lay down and rest that will get you better. Open up and let me see your little eyes. And takes good care of your child and, and she loves them. It's head stretching as he is. Just like these mothers, I'd say if you'll feed this baby right, keep it away from sick kids, you don't need me. <laughs> and she takes no insurance. Everyone has charged $10 for a session with Leela Denmark. Let's give him a good hot bath and put him to bed. And now take his temperature at 6 o'clock. And I'm going to give you the prescription. Let's wait and see how he is at 6 o'clock. Approaching the age of 100, Dr. Denmark says she's about as busy now as she was when she started seven decades ago. When I dread the day she dies, I really do. There's just no other doctor like her. If you'll eat right, drink right, and love to do what you're doing, there's no reason to die. Dispensing her old school treatments and the wisdom of her years. You are so gorgeous. Here. Hold her little hands, hold her hands. With no reason yet to slow down. All right, who's the next angel? In Alpharetta, Doug Richards, Fox 5 Eyewitness News.